Uh, I'm Mark Miller. And can you kind of give me an idea of what, what, what y'all are doing here? Yes, we're conducting an experiment here to try and understand the interaction between the land surface in Oklahoma and the overlying atmosphere. Okay. Uh, how many people are up here and what type of uh, the, crews do you have here? There are approximately 50 people here uh, right at this moment and, and in this location, but a total of over 100 uh, in various locations both in Oklahoma and in Texas. Okay, what three sites will you be looking at here in Oklahoma? We'll be looking at an area around the around Ponca City, Lamont. This is the ARM Central Facility, the Atmospheric Radiation Measurement Program, which is a DOE facility. Uh, south of here, there's a, a United States Department of Agricultural Research Station uh, in the area around Little Washita. We ha we have a site there, and we also have a forested site in the area around Oak Mulgee. Okay. What are we looking at here? This is a, it's called a CAPS probe, and, and it consists of, th of three different probes, actually. Two of them have lasers in them. One is, uh, measures the, the number of cloud droplets and their sizes. Uh, the other one measures the number and sizes of things bigger than cloud droplets, like snowflakes, raindrops, ice crystals. And the third one is just a, a hot wire that measures the liquid content of the cloud. This we call a PCASP probe, and it measures the number and sizes of the small particles, like dust or smoke. Um, so you can pick up stuff in small smoke? Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the sizes that it can pick up uh, start at about 0.1 micron, and it goes up to about 3 micron in size. 
these two probes the, are really where the action is on the um, on this side of the aircraft. Most of the instrumentation that you're going to see on the inside is looking at um, air streams that come from these two probes, and they they differ. The one on the bottom takes in air just as you know, just as we're breathing it, and, and all of the particles that are in it. The one on the top takes in only cloud droplets. It rejects the air and takes in the cloud droplets. So the particles that are inside the cloud droplets then, when the cloud droplets evaporate, we look at those particles. Wow. That's amazing. Can it is. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, what, are the, what are these ones? Those are just um, pr to provide suction and, and uh, we, we get rid of some of the hot air in the cabin. It's kind of housekeeping stuff, oh. really. It's, so, with the, um, with the cylinder about four inches in diameter, air flows right through there, and then there's a light beam that goes across, and that instrument also measures the liquid water content of the cloud, how much water is there in, in, the, in the liquid state. And this, is this done with, with a light beam, you say? Yes. The instruments on the right side of the cabin are all measuring uh, some properties of the particles. And you remember I said that we have two inlets for particles. One for the dry particles, as they are in the, in the free air. The other one's for the particles that are inside the cloud droplets. This, the, the rack that you're pointing at right now, all of the instruments in that rack are looking at the particles that were inside the cloud droplets. Cloud droplets come in, are evaporated, and the particle that's left behind, we look at different properties of those particles here. How much soot is in them, um, how much they scatter light, how much they absorb light, um, how many of them are there. Um, those kinds of properties are measured by that. And the, the, uh, the larger or the shorter rack, that's the fat rack that's up in front of that, measures actually the, the chemical composition of the particles one by one. Okay. It's a, a mass spectrometer. And what's that directly in front of that? The, in front of that is our power rack, power distribution, and some of the, the um, fixed instruments. Okay. And then on the left, it's on the left side of the cabin, um, are measuring properties of gases. So the, the one in the front, uh, we call that a proton transfer mass spectrometer. It measures um, species of gases. Um, particularly, it's, we, we are most interested in some of the volatile organic carbon compounds. Um, and so that's, it's very specific, you know, compound by compound, we can measure the concentration of those trace gases. This rack that's closer to us has some of the more common gases, com carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and ozone it can be measured in that, in, in, by those uh, monitors. The little electronics box on the top is the one that uh, is connected to the, um, oh, to, the, to the liquid water content measuring sensor on the outside, yeah. cloud water probe up here on the roof. The slots on the front of that collect cloud water. The cloud water drops, you know, drains down through the tubes and so we can actually bring home a sample of the cloud water for later analysis.